Yo, that's so wild because I remember when I was 17, right? And I put out this record called Put It On. It was like a big L sample, right? And this was like the first record to like really move on YouTube for me, right? And somebody commented, yo, this is trash. And this was the first time I ever received like negative feedback. So I'm like, oh, damn, like I'm in my head. I'm thinking about all the times you see people going back and forth. Your mom's like, bitch, on, on, you know, the YouTube comments, I'm, I'm there mentally, right? And... I was on my way to a show, so I'm like, you know what? I can't type all of this right now, so I'm just festering, like, all right, this is what I'm going to say. And the, the longer I had to sit on it, I was just like, you know what? Like, I'm tight right now, but, like, I don't even understand why he's saying that it's trash. Because it's like, now I'm about to go give you all of this energy, and maybe he doesn't even like boom bap style music. Like, he, you know what I mean? So it's like, now I'm about to give you all this energy when... It didn't matter what type of song it was. As long as it was in that style, you would have never liked it. So I was like, all right, cool. You know what? I'm going to respond to him and just ask why. So I was like, yo, appreciate you for listening, homie. Why? Like, why Why do you think it's trash? And he was like, yo, it just sucks. And I'm like, cool, cool. You told me that when you said it's trash. Give me the why now. And we're going back and forth. There's probably like five responses of me just asking like, yo, but why? And then it, uh, his last response was, oh, no, nah, I'm just joking, man. Fulton Street, Brooklyn, it's all love. You're doing your thing. Keep killing it. And I was just like, yo. From that moment, it was like, oh, shit, you don't understand yourself. Because the fact that I confronted you and asked you why, you just, you fumbled. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't even stand on your square. So it's like, I could never expect you to understand me if I'm this complex being, if you don't understand yourself. You're never going to get me. So it's like, all right, cool. That's the moment I realized that it's like everybody has an opinion, but not everybody has a valid opinion. And if I'm not willing to understand why you think the way you think, then I can't really be mad at it. Because it's like now I'm just giving energy to something that is making me mad for what reason? You know what I mean? I don't even want to be less mad by it. I just want to be mad. If I'm not trying to understand you, then I'm... So what's the point of me being mad? For me, avoiding distractions is like, it obviously is just a mental thing. Like you kind of have to get right with yourself in terms of understanding what the end goal is. Because I feel like you only fall to distractions when you're trying to get instant gratification, right? Because it's a lot of things that distract you. It's like, all right, this is going to be fun in the moment. But then when you go sit with yourself later, you're like, damn, why did I do that? I could have been doing this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like me going through that enough times of feeling the feeling of why did I do that? I could have been doing this, that, and the third has just put me in a place of just honing in with discipline a little bit more. So like when I am going through somewhere, it's like something might be distracting or, you know, I might want to do whatever that's not going to help me in the long run. I'm kind of like, all right, well, let's pros and cons this you know what i mean what what is this gonna help me gain right now and how is it what's the 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 risk in this you know um the risk and reward type of factor so a lot of times that's what i'm kind of weighing out and if the risk is not worth the reward it's kind of like all right bro like let's reel it in <laughs> even within this industry it's just certain things that you don't even want to do you know what I mean? Like, it's like, all right, but you know this can help you in this fashion. Like, shit, with social media and things like that. Like, I'm not the social media crazy person. Like, I feel like if I wasn't doing music, I probably would not be on social media. Like, I I would have it probably just to be in tune with what's going on, but not an active person on it, you know? Like, I wouldn't be tweeting. I wouldn't be posting pictures and things like that. So, even that sometimes could feel like a task. But I think everything kind of comes down to what's the reward, you know? And a lot of times it's like, all right, cool. This might in the moment feel a little annoying, but this is helping the, the future. So why wouldn't you?